Imagine a world where the government is watching your every move, where your phone calls are monitored, your emails are read, and your internet searches are tracked, where your social media posts are analyzed and your movements are monitored. This is the world we live in today. The NASA is spying on you, and they're doing it without your knowledge or consent. In this video, we will uncover the truth about the NASA mass surveillance programs. We will show you how they are spying on you and how they are using this data to track your movements, predict your behavior, and control your life. But this is not just a story about the NASA. It is a story about the future of privacy and the future of freedom. Are you ready to learn the truth? Timeline of NASA Surveillance Programs The NASA mass surveillance programs date back to the 1960s, but they have expanded dramatically in recent years. The NASA begins collecting phone records of Americans as part of the COINTELPRO program. 1970s, the NASA begins collecting emails and other internet traffic as part of the PRISM program. 1990s, the NASA develops the X-Key Score program, which allows it to collect and analyze data from a variety of sources, including Google, Yahoo, and Facebook. 2000s, the NASA launches the Upstream program, which allows it to collect data directly from the internet backbone. 2013, Edward Snowden leaks classified documents revealing the NASA mass surveillance programs. How the NASA spies on you. The NASA has a vast network of spies and informants all over the world. They also have access to cutting edge technology that allows them to monitor your communications and movements without you even knowing it. Here are a few examples of how the NASA spies on you. Phone records. The NASA collects phone records of millions of Americans every day. This information includes the phone numbers involved in each call, the date and time of the call, and the duration of the call. Email. The NAS also collects emails of Americans. They do this by partnering with internet service providers, ISPs, and other technology companies. This information includes the sender and recipient of each email, the subject line, and the date and time of the email. Internet searches. The NASA also collects internet searches of Americans. They do this by partnering with search engines such as Google and Yahoo. This information includes the search terms used, the date and time of the search, and the IP address of the user. Social media. The NASA also collects social media posts of Americans. They do this by partnering with social media platforms such as Facebook and Twitter. This information includes the content of the post, the date and time of the post, and the ID of the user. In addition to these methods, the NASA also has access to more sophisticated technologies that allow them to monitor your communications and movements in ways that you can't even imagine. For example, the NASA can use satellites to track your movements and listen to your phone calls. They can also use hacking techniques to gain access to your computer and other electronic devices. The NASA surveillance capabilities are truly vast and terrifying. They can spy on anyone, anywhere, at any time. But the NASA surveillance capabilities go beyond what you might imagine. They have also developed secret programs that allow them to monitor your thoughts and emotions. One such program is called Project Stargate. This program was designed to develop psychic spies who could use their minds to spy on foreign enemies. Another program, called Project Bluebird, was designed to develop mind control techniques. This program was used on American citizens without their knowledge or consent. These are just a few examples of the NASA secret surveillance programs. The full extent of their capabilities is unknown, but it is clear that they are spying on us in ways that we can't even imagine. The NASA mass surveillance programs have a significant impact on our privacy and civil liberties. When the government collects data on our every move, it chills our free speech and inhibits our ability to associate with others without fear of government reprisal. The NASA surveillance programs have also been used to target innocent Americans. 
For example, the NASA has been known to monitor the phone calls and emails of journalists, lawyers, and activists. The NASA surveillance is a threat to our privacy and our freedom. We must hold them accountable for their actions and demand that they stop spying on us.